Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Ari and today I'm going to be talking about a very special subject, at least to me. I'm going to be sharing all about Baloo. Baloo, who is right here with me, I'll try to get him up right now. Baloo is our Newfie, um, our dog, our Newfoundland dog, sorry, uh, Newfie for short. And if you've been following me on Instagram for a while, you may have seen him around because he tends to make some very frequent appearances. He is the king of the house, I'm not gonna lie. And you know, he's been a topic of a lot of conversation, a lot of questions, and I thought I might, I would introduce him and the breed since he, Newfoundlands are not actually that common, so I wanted to come on here and just share all I know about him. So first let me introduce you to him. If you haven't seen him, if not, you can check out some of our posts here on the Toasty Life. <laughs> well, now he's awake. Uh, this is Baloo. Baloo is our two-year-old Newfie. Newfies can <laughs> um, Newfies can live uh, approximately live approximately ten to twelve years. Okay, okay, then sorry. You know that could be more or less. Newfies are originally from Canada, from the island of Newfoundland, 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 Newfoundland. If there's any locals, please correct me. Um, I never, I'm never sure how to pronounce it because everybody says it differently. Um, Newfies for short, short, uh -huh. again. They were originally bred um, for water rescue, uh, specifically bred to withstand very cold temperatures, um, you know, in the snow and in the water. Um, like I say, water rescue, but, jewel, but uh, very cold conditions. So. There's actually some amazing videos of how they train him to jump off helicopters into rough water when rescuers can't actually get it. They send these guys. So <laughs> so I think that's part of their their personality comes through with that since they are rescue dogs. I think you can really see that they are very sweet, very gentle. They try to please. Um, they are very proud to... Um, <laughs> they're very proud about... Uh, getting tasks done. So if you ask him for something, for example, Baloo, we ask him to bring his toys and he's very proud to do it. So I think that's part of it. They are considered a giant breed and a working breed. It is a older breed, that's what I call it, meaning that it's not one of those newer breeds like Labradoodles, Golden Doodles, and all the doodles. Uh, <laughs> uh, meaning it is not as common now. It can make finding a good breeder a little bit harder just because since it's not as common, some breeders are not responsible and can breed within their same family, within the same line, because they might not find, see, they might not find, no. yeah, they might not find, you know, uh, another good breeder around. So that's something you need to be very careful. Bye. Bye. Another question we get is how did we end up with a new feed? So back in Mexico, when, When my childhood dog, who was a golden retriever, was amazing, passed away, um, I decided I didn't want the same breed, that it was never going to replace him. So one thing led to another. We had some acquaintances that had a breeder, a new Newfoundland breeder in Mexico. And like I say, one thing led to another, we ended up with a Newfie. The breeder was very good to explain to us, you know, how much care these dogs needed and everything like that. So we learned a lot from there. When our that new fee was called Moro, if you've been following me here for, for a while, you may have seen him. He was the sweetest, sweetest boy. Uh, big boy, same as Baloo. A couple months after we got married, he was six years old. We found out he had a very advanced kind of kidney disease. Oh no, he just cracked his foot. A very advanced kind of kidney disease. We really did not see it coming. This is not uh, a common illness in Newfies. Uh, it's just bad luck. It was very advanced. We didn't know. And this was actually we had just found that we wanted a another Newfie a puppy, so he could learn from Moto. Moto was completely trained, housebroken. He was very very well behaved. So we wanted this guy, or who we thought would be this guy, to learn from him. So we started looking, we found Malou, and the same week we were gonna pick up Malou, Moro passed away. So when we brought this guy home, it was a whole new world. <laughs> um, because I had forgotten what it was like to have a puppy. And instead of 
Moro being here to help me and just like copy it, uh, Velu copy everything from him because that's a really good tip. Um, if you want to get a puppy, make sure, you know, if you've had dogs, make sure you get the puppy when your older dog is already trained and well behaved because they will learn everything from them. Uh, don't wait, no Twitter, please. So Baloo came home. Um, we had to get used to a puppy again. They, believe me, not all Newfies are the same. I know Newfies in general are very calm, very good natured, and although he's very sweet, Baloo is a lot more mischievous, uh, sneaky. Um, he's a thief, he steals socks, underwear, whatever he can get his little paws on. Um, but an amazing dog either way. If you're thinking about getting a new fee or most, the more important things you need to know about new fees is you need to be very careful about the breeder you pick or the breeder you find. Like I said, because he, they're not a very common breed, um, you need to make sure that the breeder is responsible and that they are registered and they do, they do not breed just for money. One of the main reasons for that is because uh, new fees can have quite a few health issues and that is worse if the breeder is not responsible um, let's say if they do not check for genetic conditions such as hip dysplasia or back issues arthritis or even their heart condition which is very common in newfies which they're born with a good breeder like ours uh, let us know that when they're about six to eight weeks old they need to get a specific test um, a heart test to make sure that they don't come with this congenital heart heart condition. Um, if he was positive for that heart condition, she wouldn't have been able to give him to us. Um, it's fine, he would have stayed and been very happy with her, stayed at the breeder, but just because this heart condition can, can really affect their life. Health-wise, so like I say, they can have health issues, most common health issues with them is they can have either back problems or hip problems like hip dysplasia. These they can be born with, but a lot of times they can also be caused by overfeeding and making your, your pet overweight. Um, since they are a giant breed, you need to be very careful about their weight. Yes, they can weigh up to 160 pounds, but that depends on the dog. Baloo is around 135 pounds, and for him that is his pretty good weight until they really don't fully mature until they're about three years old. So we might be expecting him to get a little bit heavier, but still, you know, it's better for him to be healthy than heavy. So it um, doesn't matter if they're a giant breed, so you have to make sure you listen to the vet and make sure that he's a healthy weight and not just, just heavy. What learned is that they tend to have very, very sensitive skin. For example, Baloo tends to have a lot of skin allergies. Um, they can flare up seasonal. Um, like any human or they can flare up just out of nowhere. We have no idea. They're not that bad But sometimes he does start scratching and ends up making that into a skin infection Their skin is also very very sensitive in terms of hair care So you have to make sure you brush your new feet very well um, If you can every day at least a quick brush. That's what I do a little quick brush when I have time um, Try to do it every day and at least three to four times a week a good brushing out um, you got to make sure to take out a lot of all that dead hair that's just hanging there because if you don't, it could end up creating some kind of skin infection. It creates moisture, traps moisture, which eventually will lead to a skin infection and it's not good for them. These dogs are, they live way better and they're meant to live in a cooler climate. We do live in Texas and believe it or not, we do tend to have cold winters, but the summer is very, very hot. So another thing you need to remember, new fees are indoor dogs. Although they're, they love being outside, they need to be able to come inside, especially when it's hot. It is not a breed that you can shave or um, you can trim down a little bit. What we do is a little belly trim. Um, so when they lay on the tile, that kind of keeps them cool and they clean out their pads and stuff like that. But you do not want to shave them, at least not for vanity or for, uh, for heat purposes, no. Um, their hair actually protects their skin. Their skin, believe it or not, you see him, he's pitch black, is actually white as snow. I don't know, I don't think I can show you guys. Um, but it's actually white as snow. So if you shave a new fee, his skin will not be able to take it. Again with this, this is why I say new fees are not for everybody. Um, you need to be ready to be able to share your home with them. These are dogs that are very sensitive, very emotional, and 
um, create very strong ties and bonds to you. For example, Baloo will wait for me outside the bathroom. I sat the shower. Uh, when I'm cooking, he's by my feet. They, they need that human company or whatever. Um, they prefer to be with somebody. They don't like to be alone. So these are dogs that should be part of the family. They shouldn't be like outdoor dogs. And also considering their health issues, you can't just have them outside. They do drool. Uh, they're very slobbery dogs. They're one of those breeds. Not as not as drooly as some breeds, but um, for example, Moto was a lot more slobbery than Baloo is, but still, uh, this is a little bit of a yucky story, but this happens a lot. Whenever we come back from a walk and he's tired and he decides to shake off his head inside the house, we get some drool and some slobber on the walls. You know, it's, we remove it, we clean it, whatever. It's not a big deal, but it is. So don't be surprised. It is part of the breed. So someone left a little surprise for me. Thank you, Baloo. They do shed. They shed a lot, pretty much. Um, they are not hyperallergenic at all. Um, uh, shedding, uh, you can help help with the shedding with grooming and brushing, um, all that. Uh, in terms of grooming, I almost forgot. People do ask me how often do I groom him and if I bathe him myself. No. Uh, last time I gave him a bath, I ended up on the floor, soaked, covered in hair, and he was playing in the shower. So we get him groomed. Um, make sure you find a good groomer that will take care of the breed. We usually groom him in between every, I guess, uh, once a month, month and a half, max two months. Uh, not sooner unless it's been due to some kind of condition. Newfies, you need to allow time for their skin to dry. Like I said, you don't want any moisture trapped in there. So make sure that when you get them groomed, they really do dry them off pretty well. A new fee really doesn't need a haircut. They get, like I said, they get trims, a little ear, ow, um, their shaved belly in the summer, but they don't really need a full haircut like a pup. They are very big, like very strong, heavy dogs. So if you are not at an age that you can control a dog like this, especially if you're getting him as a puppy, do not get it because it is very easy for you them to drag you down. Even if you're young, you work out, you're healthy, um, ask Arturo, he can even drag Arturo down. So and that's something you need to take into account um, depending on your needs or what you need. But this is a very heavy dog. For example, also they do not like to jump onto the back of a car. You have to carry them up. So imagine carrying a 160, 140 pound dog every single time. Um, you need to be ready for that. Uh, Newfies grow up very fast. They're very cute. They're, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, I'm not being biased. They're one of the cutest puppies out there. I swear, they look like little teddy bears, but they grow up very, very fast. And this is what happens a lot when people fall in love with them, get a Newfie puppy, and then very quickly they realize that this dog is outgrowing everybody, out eating everybody, and they just can't handle it. Um, by the time they're six months old, they're already close to 100 pounds. Um, don't be fooled by what you see in social media. I've gotten a lot of questions and, and people telling me like, oh, I want a new fee because I love Baloo. Um, you only see, believe me, the cute stuff. I never show one of the slobbers all over the wall. I never um, show that much when I have to carry him or how much hair I vacuum. Um, make sure that if you want, if you really want a new fee or any breed for that matter, do your research. Um, there's so much more that goes into a specific breed that we need to be aware of. Also be aware that he is well behaved most of the times because we did go through a lot of training. Um, uh, I'm home with him all the, almost all the time. As you know, I work from home. So I'm able to be with him and just like he's become 
very um, used to my schedule, my routine, and everything like that. So um, don't be fooled by that. It is a dog that because they're so big, you have to work on their training a lot, even though they're very good natured dogs. Um, also, because they can be what they call a lazy dog, you need to be committed to working them out. Um, new fees can be, if you let them, they'll become very lazy and just chill at home all day, um, which is a little bit deceiving because people think they can have them in small homes or apartments or homes without a backyard. Um, that's not recommended. New fees do need to work out. If they become too lazy and don't have activity, they can uh, develop a lot of uh, back problems, hip problems, even um, internal organ issues. So you really need to be committed. It's not a little dog that you know you throw the ball once and he's done his sprint for the day or something like that. Um, you need to work them out. So that's another commitment issue. Also costs, not of the dog, I'm not gonna get into that, um, but just having a new fee, because of their size and weight is a lot more expensive than any other dogs. Any giant breed is more expensive than a medium to small size dog. Um, from vet cost, you know, shots, vaccinations, to food, to boarding, um, grooming, bathing, everything can be, you know, triple the cost of another dog. So also you need to consider that. But in general, you know, they're amazing dogs. They work for our lifestyle. Um, this is what I want. I like having. I like having a companion, somebody that's with me at home. The only downside is I wish I could take him with me everywhere, which is a little bit hard when they're so big. I think, yeah, in general, this is a little bit about what we've learned about having new fees. I'm trying to be as honest as I can with you guys um, because I know they're adorable and they're very sweet dogs. So I'm trying to be very honest from what we've learned. In general, I feel like if you want a new fee, if you want any dog, do your research very well. It doesn't matter if you go to the most expensive fanciest breeder in the world or you go to a shelter or you pick up a dog in the street um make sure that relationship is forever um make sure you are committed you do your research doesn't matter if he's a mix or a purebred do your research on what either the what's the breed's background what they're like or what is that dog's background for example if he's coming from a shelter and just make the commitment and be ready um, don't get a dog just because it, you think they're cute. Um, don't get anything just because you think they're cute. Uh, really means a lot more work. In general, that is a li my little new fee 101 and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, Baloo is taking another nap. I really hope you enjoyed it. And again, like always, if you like this video, if you like this channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment, share it, like it. If you have, okay, don't slap me. If you have any tips, if you're a fellow newbie owner, um, you have any questions, you want to talk dog, we, I mean, we can do it. Just comment below. <laughs> and I hope to see you guys again here soon. Bye.